Well, well when I entered the profession of, of journalism in, in the late 1970s, um, there was, it was very much, a, the ideal was our job is to be objective. Our job is to uh, uh, portray reality as objectively as possible. I think there was a recognition that, sure, everybody has their biases. Uh, everybody has their, you know, conscious or unconscious. Uh, but at least our goal was to overcome those biases to our best of our abilities and to, to uh, write about what we saw. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, as objectively as possible. Accuracy was hugely valued. Uh, we had rules like uh, there was like a, a based on learned experience in the profession to uh, be very, very wary about using unnamed sources uh, because those sources might have agendas and you don't know how accurate they are. And uh, uh, so we'd get everything we possibly could. I, when I, I started off with the Martinsville Bulletin they made me every sentence I wrote. I had, to, uh, if I covered a city council meeting, it had to be, he said, she said. I couldn't just like summarize it in my own words. I had to like say, yeah, that's what so-and-so said. That's not me interpolating my interpretation. So that's the way it started. And uh, as you grow in the profession and you kind of gain more confidence in your abilities, you are able to kind of maybe interpret a little bit more. But still, the idea is you're, you're supposed to be objective. And one of the goals was you always, one of the things you learn is there's always two sides to every story. Uh, what's, what's the old, uh, the old saying is like, if your mom, if your mama says she loves you, check it out. You know, uh, don't just take it on one person's word, you know. And uh, so that was the ethos that I was raised in. And I feel like it's gone.